what is good i'm back this time not with a full how to beat and uh or a learning character one but a five uh, quick five tips to beat rashid so this is gonna be five pieces of tech that i think you should know um when you're playing against rashid this isn't like you know this is good to know this isn't like this is five things you need to know about the matchup to be able to have a be better odds at winning and um just so you know if you if you just like this is more for newer players uh and intermediate players if uh, you know all these ticks um tech there's no reason for you to watch the video besides maybe being nice to me so not to make it too clickbaity here's a list with all tech we're gonna go through timestamp also check out the description below it's gonna be timestamp there too so you can just click and skip to the part so yeah the reason I'm doing this is because, um, first of all, there was the guy on Reddit that said, after I did the Hunter video half a year ago, now do this with Rashid. Challenge accepted. <laughs> nah, but I feel like Rashid is a character that a lot of um, newer players struggle with because he has some very uh, tight pressure. It's And also, I'm going to be using Urian because Urian is my character. I'm going to be doing tech. That is you know, mostly universal to all characters. You just have to figure out what your options are. So you have to go into training mode. But all characters should have a um, way to deal with this stuff. So it's just about you finding out how your character can deal with it. So yeah, why don't we just jump right into it and start with uh, the most important... Well, one of the most annoying f things about uh, Rashid. And that is his corner pressure. Um... For that, I've done a few recordings here to start with, and uh, most specifically, I'm talking about his um, uh, wind projectile, you know, block string into wind projectile into plus frames. That seems to give a lot of newer players trouble. I went through CFN and looked through some replays, and I saw a lot of people not really knowing how to handle it. Looking like they got very flustered, very stressed, blocking it. So let's just go through the options here, and let me show you that it's actually not legit at all. And we can beat it. So let's start with the light one. This is a true block string. You can't do anything. I'm mashing tab. It wouldn't work with a free frame either. So. Not. You can't interrupt this in any way. It's minus five. So we can punish it afterwards. We can't jump either. Holding up. So that's good to know. This is a true block string that if you block it. You can get a punish. So that means. We can mash jab or hold up or. Whatever solution we want in the middle of it, and we won't get punished for it. Uh, let's move on to medium punch. I uh, sorry, medium kick uh, mixer. I think it's medium kick. Uh, that is. So see what happens if I start mashing jab through the string here. We can interrupt it. This is not a true string. It's not a true string with hard uh, hard kick either. You can interrupt it. It's minus four between. And the smart things, the smart thing about it. Let me just turn this up real quick. Real, real quick. The smart thing about this is, you can mash the jab there on the first hit of um, the mixer without getting punished at all. If he does a straight up, um, if he does a straight up just hard punch, wait, he can only cancel the first hit. Let me. I haven't done a recording of this, but I guess we can all write this recording out here. Uh, let me just show one more thing with this one before writing. You can jump out. Um, you can PP. And this is some basic options you can use to deal with this. But let me just overwrite this and show you a few things here. So, uh, there we go. Oh. So, here the, here's the move, right? We can't, you, a Rashid player can't cancel the second hit into wind shot. So, you see? He has to cancel the first hit. Which means, if the Rashid player doesn't can, uh, is doing a wind shot, we are uh, doing a crotal punch, we always know when the cancel window is. We always know it's on the first hit. It can't come on the second hit. Not even with the EX. We always know when the cancel window is, so we can actually use this to our advantage to make some option selects. So that's why it isn't really that real. Same thing 
with the EX one, which is probably the most, the, the worst one of them that actually gives people the most trouble. So if you take the EX option, it's the same thing. We can interrupt it. We can jump it. We can DXTP it. I remember, you can do an EXTP input in the middle of this. And if he doesn't do the first hit, uh, if he doesn't cancel the first hit um, of the wind mixer, and he does, and the second hit of the Rashid thing comes out, the DP won't come out at all because he's in the middle of you know doing that move. So it's a true block string there. So that's kind of like just like you know, the thing isn't real. It's it's not. It's this kind of pressure is not real. Um, the thing that you need to be kind of careful for, and the thing that actually like can catch a lot of people off guard, is um, I think it's this one. Uh, this one is harder because that's a kind of a range specification to it. Uh, but we can still jump. It's harder to DP this because it's one hit. Um, that's not as much of an option select, and you know, there's certain ranges where it will either just totally beat it. So like this is more um, character specific because um, some characters don't have as far of a poke button as Urian. Uh, Urian's jab, four frame jab, is very far, so he has a very good chance of like interrupting this move, even if it's the uh, forward medium punch into EX Mixer, which I see a lot more receipts using for pressure because of like the range and still gives the plus frames. But yeah, um, it's all interruptible. It's all jumpable. And it's all like, you know, you just kind of have to be understanding of um, this is a thing and being ready to. I like jumping out is a pretty safe option. He can kind of, Rashid has a really good option for p pursuing you, but at least you're out of the corner kind of. And he's closer to the corner. Okay, this leads us into my second tip uh, or tech is um, it's still EX Wolven shot we're talking about, but now it's mid screen. And it's simply, um, we all know the, this string, right? We all know this string. Uh, Rashid uses it all the time to create pressure. This one right here, right? And um, that ain't safe. Uh, it's not, it, again, one of those things that um, you encounter. It's harder for four frame characters. Uh, it's around, it's like, it's, kind, it's minus one ish. It's hard to explain, uh, but it's unsafe. Um, and it's easier to punish for some, this is more, this isn't as universal, but it's good to know. Um, but yeah, if, and the, the trick is, the trick is, uh, you have to be a kind of mindful of it. This only works. This isn't safe. This isn't a real thing. If he can, if the Rashid cancels into the roll too early, that's the condition. So if you get hit by two. Whirlwind shots. One, two. You can ca you can contest. And you see, Urian gets a trade combo because his jab is really good. But um, if you block two of these, it's not a real thing. It's hard to do. It's, 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 it takes a bit of practice. But Rashid players will often go for something like a medium punch to really amp up pressure. They don't go for... Rashid players don't go for like um, jabs or light kicks in that situation. They go for medium punches and stuff like that. So most of the time, um, you can catch Rashid players off guard that don't really know what they're doing. Um, the condition is that this only works if um, if they cancel the roll too early. So you have to be you have to look if you're crouch uh, blocking. If the ex whirlwind shot hits you twice. It's unsafe. At least if you're a free framer, you can punish it. Four framers, you, have, you might have to do a bit more labbing, but you can at least contest to some degree, as I'm doing. It's minus one, so you can at least get some like um, trade combos at worst. Third tip. <laughs> ah. Okay. Back in the corner again. Now, Rashid is on the defensive, and it's basically his re reversal. Too many people leave his re reversal um, unpunished. I don't know the exact amount of minus frames, but it's very minus. Uh, just to give you... Uh, so, like, let's say you do a move. I don't even know. 
But if he does a review, review reversal out of the corner, it's punishable. He's set to all block. Um, so as soon as he's done with the recovery, he should be blocking again. But it's punishable. It's very punishable. European players can even do this. So like, go in and lab how to punish this. Because European players can punish it pretty hard, like... So yeah, please punish Rashid's view reversal. It is the worst option he can do to get out of the corner. <laughs> of all his magnitude of getting out of the corner options. So please punish it. That's the third tip. Now on to the fourth tip. You've probably all seen this string. Uh, we're talking about V-Trigger 2 now, by the way. You've probably all seen this. Um, so we do... You've probably all seen this, uh, this pressure, right? Something like that. Pressure with V-Trigger 2 can be very annoying. Again, this isn't real either. <laughs> From this range. It can, if you're closer to the guy, uh, to Rashid, it can be real. But like, about that 3 fourth screen away, around where I'm positioning him, and further away, you can do this. But, uh, yeah. Not real. Ah, of course I messed it up. <laughs> There we go. And it's not hard to do. Again. You can punish it. So if you see Rashid players trying to abuse V-Trigger 2, rolling towards you, trying to make that thing cover their uh, approach, just back throw them into the corner. And I think... Um, shout out to Broski. I think he was the one that uh, at least he was the one I saw on Twitter mention this. So shout out to him. Um, okay, on to the last tip, fifth, fifth tip. And this is like more, this isn't really any tech or stuff like that. But it's just, again, something I see people just, uh, Rashid players get away with it too much. And it's just like, you know, it's more of an advice than like tech or something like that. But please, when Rashid starts to jump off uh, the wall, you know, the walls when he does the jump off that just you know try to keep him in the corner the, that's nothing Rashid wants more than to get out of the corner so like just um, let's say he wanted to do, just do something like figure out figure out an option that works And that, that doesn't work. But yeah. Figure out an option. And it's better to give out, give up some corner space. It's better to... Um, let's just restart. It's better... One second. Turn this off. It's better you jump back. And you hit him. And you're around here. Then... You block it. And he's in... And you're in the corner now. Like, you know, like now, you know, <laughs> it's better giving up the space and he is closer to the corner than you doing nothing and he's out of the corner. So just like this, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty how you counter. It doesn't have to be optimal. You know, like you don't have to be a real player and cross cut DP him or uh, a get player or whatever. Jump back, medium punch. Or jump forward, medium punch. Uh, uh, sorry, jump. Uh, yeah, jump medium punch or jump hard punch, whatever. Just do something that counters it. And this is, I know this is more of a, like an advice than an actual like tech and tip or stuff like that. There's a bit of tech involved, you know, urine specific stuff with doing stand hard kick. But like, just figure out how to counter this because, you know, it took away Rashid being able to get out of the corner scot free with EX um, Eagle Spike. Unless he's in re-trigger. Uh, so his only, his only real ways to get out of the corner is either dash at you. And throw your back, back throw you into the corner. Do the wall jump. Re-reversal. And that's kind of like, oh, uh, V-skill jump over. A lot of Rashid's pressure and stuff is from the corner. And a lot of Rashid's gameplay revolves around getting you into the corner and him out of the corner. That's kind of how Rashid works. So it's just important when playing against Rashid players, you understand how to get around his tools... And uh, 
that leads you into the corner and makes you stay in the corner. And how you counter his tools that can get him out of the corner. And that's like, that's kind of the whole point of this video. It's just like showing you some tech for stuff Rashid has that can lead you into the corner or he uses to get out of the corner. And that's kind of all the tech I wanted to talk about. Um, secret six tip. And this is just like me going to talk. If you're having trouble with a matchup, if you're having trouble with a matchup, being a, be it Rashid, be it Karen, be whatever character in the game, the best thing you can do as a player, if you take, if you actually want to take this whole playing series, if you want, if you see yourself as a competitive player, no matter where you are in ranked, no matter how good you are, if you see yourself as a guy that wants to improve and wants to learn, and you're having a lot of trouble with a matchup, the best advice I can give you is go in and play the character. Not as a main, you're not trying to main the character, but if you play the character, you'll start thinking, oh, what he's doing right now is annoying, you know, when you're playing Rashid, for example. Oh, it's, uh, my anti -air isn't consistent when he's jumping at me, or when he's at this range, it's really hard for me to jump, uh, sorry, to anti is jump in. Then you just learn something you can use against all Rashid's players. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's easy to jump in on Rashid because I don't think it is. But like, it's just as an example. So like, the best thing you can do is actually just pick up the character and play him. Just go into casual mode. You don't need to go and ranked with him. Now just go into casual mode. I'll find some battle lounges. And I'll find some friends and just play Rashid for fun. You know, sit down, learn a few combos, learn his basic game plan. And when you and then try to play with it. And then, you know, you know, you'll only get better. You'll only get a better understanding for the matchup you hate. And uh, you'll improve as a player. Um, that's the six and the secret tip for you that made it this far in the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate a subscription. Um, I'm trying. My goal right now for YouTube is trying to get like a thousand subscribers. That would be really dope. And the amount of people watching, kind of the amount of people subscribing is kind of like, like, I think it's like 70% in my statistics saying that like 70% of you guys that are watching my videos aren't subscribing to me. So, you know, if you're watching this and you are viewed that's watched a few videos now, a, subscri a subscription would be nice. But that's it. That's all. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, comment if you have, have any questions or want to share some other tech, anti-Rashid tech. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.